If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel below and join the Lakers news community to stay up to date with the latest Lakers updates and discussions. All right, folks, let's dive straight into the latest scoop that's got everyone talking. Buckle up, because this one's a game changer. Game 1 shed light on the Lakers' dire need for a player like Kentavious Caldwell-Pope. Unfortunately for them, the Lakers let him slip away. KCP's clutch performance, sinking four crucial three-pointers in a decisive third quarter, propelled Denver past Los Angeles with a staggering 32-18 scoreline, seizing control of the series opener. That's just one triple shy of all the Lakers, excluding LeBron James, combined throughout the entire game. Of course, credit is due to Caldwell Pope's defensive prowess. He shut down D'Angelo Russell for the majority of the game, limiting Russell to a mere 13 points on a dismal 6 of 20 shooting. Following the victory, Nuggets coach Michael Malone bestowed upon Caldwell Pope the title of defensive player of the game. KCP's stellar showing must have struck a chord with the Lakers, who witnessed his heroics with 13 three-pointers in their 2020 Finals triumph. Despite being the third highest minutes contributor in the starting lineup, Los Angeles traded him to the Wizards in 2021 as part of a deal involving Russell Westbrook. In hindsight, it was a costly move, as Caldwell Pope proved to be an ideal teammate for LeBron James. He doesn't demand the ball but knocks down open shots, shooting over 40% from beyond the arc in three of his last four seasons. Moreover, KCP's defensive versatility is invaluable particularly in containing point guards like Jamal Murray, who averaged over 30 points in his last five playoff games against the Lakers. For his part, Caldwell Pope embraces the challenge of facing his former team and doesn't shy away from it. He told reporters it was always fun, playing against a team with whom Denver shared history, but added that Denver pretty much won all the games. KCP isn't wrong, as Saturday marked Denver's eighth consecutive victory over Los Angeles and their fifth straight playoff win. Since joining Denver before last season, he's won 10 games and lost just one. Caldwell Pope was the missing piece that propelled Denver to their first title. He might just be the missing link that cost the Lakers another shot at a championship with an all-time duo like James and Davis. Now, Lakers Nation, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Kentavious Caldwell Pope's impact on the Lakers? Drop your comments below and let's keep the conversation going.